Hello everyone, this is Chandan Pro from Satvik Soft Tech. In my previous video, we saw how to implement, uh, how to write a program to calculate the square root of a number, making use of binary search, uh, an iterative implementation of the binary search problem. So this is the, here is the solution which we came up with. <coughs> so we had this while loop and we kept on looping until we found the square root okay so although this is a good approach there i'll just show you an alternative approach making use of uh, the recursive solution so let me implement the recursive solution to this problem uh, it is going to be similar binary search just copy this because it is going to be similar to whatever we wrote here it's almost almost the same okay. so if you observe here in my iterative solution in every iteration the only number which changes is either the high or the low the high is set to the current root or the low is set to the current root depending on some kind of a uh, condition so because of this because of this you can easily come up with a recursive solution so i'll just rename this as binary search recursive <coughs> so i'll just put this if statement here so if the absolute value so instead of writing this uh, instead of writing the loop and just copy this part so my loop is now going to get replaced by successive calls to the bin search recursive function so every time i come inside the function i'll first calculate the current root and then i'll print out the low high and current root then get my approximation of the square okay and then check whether it is within uh, within the epsilon so if it is within the epsilon then i break i don't i don't just break <coughs> i will return if it is within that limit then i i need to return so current root I need to return my answer okay otherwise I need to again go on successively calling the binary search recursive algorithm so, so this condition here we can make use of the, the, the conditional operator in C that to give a, a little bit more elegant answer this is going to be something like this current approximation if my current approximation is greater than my number okay oops. if my current approximation is greater than my number then then call the binary binary search recursive recursive with the number and so in this case i need to change the high see so if it is greater than my number i need to change the high my high is now going to be my current root so number low current root okay number low and current root <coughs> if it is not the case If this is not the case, then I need to call my binary search recursive function 
with the number the current root will be my new low right and the high will remain unchanged so whatever answer i get i need to return that i need to return that fine so if i execute this now with my binary search recursive function you see you will see that the program should work program troops so it is saying current approx undeclared so we need to declare this variable current approx these two declarations must come in my binary search recursive okay so that's a clean compilation oops so that is 122.4474487 So that it is giving us pretty good answers. So I'll just reduce it just to confirm. So what is the square root of two? That is two point four one four two one four. Fine. So that is the recursive uh, solution to this. Of course, it, the number of lines have reduced, and uh, it is a little bit more elegant. But this is just almost same as what we had written here, with a with a minor with a few minor changes. That's all. Okay, so that's it for this video. In the next video, I'll show you how to implement this same, uh, how to solve this same problem using a better approach called the Newton's method or the Newton's interpolation formula. So we'll discuss that method and come up with a solution and we'll, you'll see that the, the Newton's method clearly outperforms binary search uh, by a huge margin. Okay.